Wildfire is a natural part of the forest, but not this kind of wildfire. Intense, high, and fast, it destroys everything, killing old growth trees, destroying wildlife habitat, and local communities. These catastrophic wildfires in these forests are not normal. This is normal. National forests in the West used to look like this. But decades of fire suppression and other factors allowed a dangerous buildup of brush, tinder dried debris, and dead trees. As a result, today's forests are beautiful, but deadly. Historically, wildfires burned low and slow, clearing away smaller vegetation and cleaning the forest floor. This is helpful to the forest ecosystem. Today, densely crowded smaller trees and surface brush act as ladders, allowing flames to leap into treetops. These high, hot crown fires sweep through forests uncontrollably, devastating vast areas. This is Echo Disaster. The Forests with a Future campaign had its origin in spring 2002, when more than 30 biologists, ecologists, other scientists, and forestry experts convened and worked for nearly two years to analyze existing guidelines and propose new solutions to the mounting wildfire crisis. A tremendous volume of public input was requested and evaluated. The group's conclusions left little room for doubt. To save our forests, the amount of burnable material, or biomass, must be reduced. The forest that we're in right now is a classic example of a forest that most people would view as being very pretty, but is a forest that is a very dangerous forest from the standpoint of fire, and one that's not likely to last very long. The campaign will thin the forest at strategic sites to protect communities and slow the spread of catastrophic fires. Half of the thinning will be done around Sierra Nevada communities. The other thinning sites will be strategically placed to act as speed bumps, slowing runaway wildfires. The campaign will also use controlled and monitored burning to remove smaller trees and surface brush. Experts project the long-term results of the Forests with a Future campaign will be impressive over the next 50 years. After years of steady increases, catastrophic fires are projected to decline more than 30 percent. And after years of steady declines, the amount of old-growth forest is expected to double. Wildlife habitat will also dramatically increase. After past declines, nesting habitat of the spotted owl, for example, should nearly double. Within 20 years, nearly all Sierra Nevada communities will be much better protected from catastrophic wildfires. Forest thinning projects are being proposed by Forest Service district rangers and forest supervisors, then planned with local citizens and community organizations. All projects will be carefully monitored by Forest Service professionals, then evaluated and adapted as needed based on results. Full public and private collaboration will assure that local concerns are fully addressed and that communities, old growth forests, and wildlife habitat are protected. The Forest Service calls upon individuals, local officials, fire districts, fire safe councils, community and environmental organizations, and other concerned parties to help by clearing flammable material from community and private lands. Forest Service grants and technical assistance will be available to support these projects. Changing wildland fire behavior won't be quick or easy. Forest with a Future is a campaign based on forest time. It will take a decade or two to significantly decrease catastrophic fires, increase old growth forests and wildlife habitat, and protect our communities. But we must start now. The forests of today must become forests with a future, like the forests of the past. When wildfires return here, as they surely will, the Sierra forests must endure. In the true spirit of conservation, we urge you to take part in this great effort. 
help the Forest Service protect this precious heritage. Please support the Forests with a Future campaign. The sum of it all is that by thinning the forest out and removing the dead trees, we make the forest much more resilient, much more capable of withstanding an intense or any wildfire because the wildfire is not as likely to be intense.